Day 5. Today, Ben's best friend brought Ben to his yoga teacher. After some light yoga and breath exercises, Ben's butt was so much hurting that already here he couldn't understand how people can sit there and do this for hours. Rami, the yoga teacher, explained Ben that he comes from a Christian background and found God only through yoga. In Christianity, he lost God, but found him back through yoga. He has found back what is divinity and an experience what God can be. It's no more the matter to believe to have a concept in the head or to say yes or no, but it turns to a unique experience and a certitude that God or this God called power exists. Rani explained further when he sits there and feels the breath through his spine, he sits one hour, two hours, three hours and then it happens. I personally can understand very good what Rani means. When I am constipated, I can sit 10 minutes on the toilet before my legs fall asleep. Then, after 15 or 20 minutes, uh, when I finally have my relief, I also hear the angels singing. More interesting for Ben was to watch some advanced yogi practicing their exercises. This was very unpleasant to Ben, and also that Rainy, to convince him and gain him as client, used some cold reading techniques. But Ben gave not up and tried his experience with some people noted as more honest. Even if the way of meditation is not what Ben liked more, so maybe his children would have better access to it. Children. Meditation centers are opening everywhere for the moment. With the Buddhist, meditation is a central element. It's not a wonder that again now the Buddhist temple have more and more popularity. This also is a parents' movement because of the oversubscription of Ritalin and other psychotropic drugs to children. Ben hopes here to find new insights of the correlation between meditation and enlightenment. Two monks explained Ben that Buddha is life in Dharma. If you understand Dharma, you can see or recognize Buddha. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. But what is Dharma? Dharma is an exercise and an education method. Not believing. Belief has nothing to do with Dharma. Further, there is the karma. All the good we received and also all the bad things are a result of our former life. Nobody is sitting there and guides six billion people. It's too much human to think if there is something what we don't understand to say, God did it. The only power who is, is karma. Karma 
makes the world go around. All our own ca characteristics, we brought them from our previous life. If in our former life you had not seeded a particular characteristic, this cannot flourish in your actual life. Ben said he remembered very well that as a child he was pure and fine with compassion for other people and animals and he thinks that's a normal behavior for children. But the monk answered that he believed that Ben was such a child but other children pull out the wings of bucks and are really cruel. No, that's not inside every child. It's what the child brought from his former life. The monk ended and said to Ben, Religion is a perfect education method for children. You can see this in East Asia, where children from about five years passes eight months in a Buddhist monastery and are educated by monks. The Buddhist religion don't exclude you to be also member of another religion. A good advice for my American followers. In Europe, 30 years ago, most of the atheists told me we are Buddhist to avoid the word atheist. They had a fat Buddha in the house entrance and everybody accepted that they had at least a faith. And if you are superstitious, Caress the belly of Buddha, it seems bringing good luck. I am very sure that you are curious to watch Ben's search in his father-in-law's religion, the Islam. 